Hello everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and along with my friends at Crackshot in Newton Abbott, we're going to be looking at this gun. This is a Gamo Boxer. It's in 2.2. It's obviously a ballpup and it is available pre-owned from Crackshot for £399. And I'm going to tell you why I think that's an amazing uh, purchase for this gun. So when we get down to it, we've got to be honest about what it is this gun's really used for and in my opinion this gun is not used for pinpoint pellet on pellet accuracy this would be the sort of tool that you would use in a field based application whatever that might mean might be different for different people but I would use this in the field for the safe dispatching of a quarry which this gun is more than capable of doing you're going to see me shooting it momentarily at 30 meters and I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I'm very happy with the results that I got. You're going to get the gun, not the scope. This is my Optizan that I often use for, for demo work. A 10 shot magazine and the fill probe. And you're ready to go. And from watching this video, you're going to have a little bit of a better understanding of the type of pellet that works well in this gun. So I'll let that run until the end and you can see for yourself. It's almost impossible to, to give this review without giving the one major negative. And here it is. I do not enjoy where, how you cock and index the rifle. There's no pellet in here. But having to reach with your arm up here and I have to get purchased by putting my thumb on the back there and then pushing it pulling it and pushing it that doesn't feel very good to me I'd have much preferred it if they did a little bit like the defiant put it at the side there however as far as I'm aware this gun features a lot of the same DNA as the BSA defiant but it's a lot more affordable and for my money that's what I would pick I would be able to get over that and that's why I think this would be a good gun for being out in the field because you're not shooting rapidly you can just cock it you've got a safety so that can be used at any time and you're good to go. The other thing that I think is really worth pointing out is that, look at the trigger. I'm just gonna do this here. When you pull the trigger, there is not a first and second stage. It's like one long stage and it randomly clicks in the middle. So it's very difficult to actually feel the first and second stage. However, from what I'm going to show you now, the gun is actually very, very accurate at 30 meters at least with the pellets that I used, all right? So I think it looks awesome. I really like the aesthetic here. I think it would look cool in black, but that's it. A nice, affordable, easy to work on, British made. Um, Gamo are, aff are affiliated with BSA. Ballpup in 2.2. You're gonna see me shoot with no sound on, just the sound of the pellets hitting the target, and then I'll give you an overview of the two best pellets. Please give my friends at Crackshot a ring. They're more than happy to organize an RFD transfer to wherever you might be in the country, or if you want to part exchange an old gun, they'll sort you out as well. Take care, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you soon, bye-bye.
here we have the two groups that I've just shot using the Gamo Boxer. And if we look at group number one here, you can see that that groups nicely under a five penny piece. Look at that. And I think we can say the same thing for the second variety of palette too. So if we roughly do that, that's the sort of grouping that you can expect to be able to easily get with this gun. Because as I said, I'm shooting in less than ideal conditions. It's now beginning to rain, it's windy. You can do better than this. There you go. Great gun.